Hi friends of Cocktails, today we're making the Gimlet, a two ingredient cocktail using gin and lime cordial. A little too simple? Well, sometimes simple can be really good too. So I'll first show you a quick and easy way to make this gin sour variation. Then we'll do a cocktail time version with a homemade smoky rose lime cordial. That's right, not roses lime cordial, but a rose and lime cordial. I love cordials, since they can bring multiple aspects to a cocktail. Sweet, sour and a lot of flavor. A little extra step on the second gimlet will be a unique garnish, using something from gastronomy, isomalt. So we have something for everyone today. Now if you're ready, it's cocktail time. So let's start with a short history and a quick recipe for the classic gimlet. I don't have roses lime cordial, which is what you'll find written in many classic cocktail books. Due to its ingredients nowadays, you're better off making it yourself anyway, since I'll show you how to make a special cordial later. I'll just leave a link in the description to a great classic lime cordial by Jeffrey Morgenthaler. The gimlet has an interesting history connected to the British Navy and the discovery that vitamin C prevents scurvy. To keep daily rations of lime juice from going bad, alcohol was added. Gin being preferred by the naval officers. It's not hard to imagine, sugar was thrown in to balance the flavors. And there we have a gin sour. But the gimlet recipes call for a cordial created by Lachlan Rose in 1865 by preserving lime juice with sugar rather than alcohol. The cocktail is likely named after the tool called gimlet, used for drilling small holes into barrels. So you needed a gimlet, if you wanted a gimlet. If you make this drink with lime juice and simple syrup rather than a cordial, is it still a gimlet? It depends on who you ask. But what I can tell you is that the cordial gives the cocktail an extra layer of lime boost coming from the pills. It's easy to make and you'll get to enjoy a fresh, tart and balanced two ingredient cocktail. So how to make such a simple drink your own? Well, if you're not still the bartender making your own gin, you can still make your own special cordial. Here are the ingredients you'll need for a smoky rose lime cordial. Filtered water, rose water, lime, juice and pills, apple cider vinegar, our old friends, citric and malic acids, sugar, white peppercorns, agar agar for clarification, and some cherry wood chips for the smoker. But I have to ask Steve, maybe making your own gin might be easier. Anyway, let's make the smoky rose lime cordial. I'll start by adding everything except agar agar and the wood chips into a blender, starting with 260 grams of filtered water. Follow that with 40 grams of rose water or, if you can find that, 4 grams of pink rose buds, but this will give more color to the cordial. Next, peel the lime to get 12 grams of zest. Since I'm using a thin peeler that does a good job at avoiding pit, I need to use more than the peels of a single lime. As for lime juice, hopefully I found two juicy limes that will give me the whole 60 ml or 2 ounces we need. Last liquid ingredient. 40 ml or 1 and a third of an ounce of apple cider vinegar. Enough to give it a little zang, but not so much to make this a shrub. Next up, acids. 6.66 grams of citric and 3.33 grams of malic acids. If you're following current trends in mixology, you have them on hand by now. And to give credit where credit's due, like Lachlan Rose discovered, sugar can preserve citrus fruit. Add 172 grams of sugar turning this into a cordial. For a bit of spice, 4 grams of white peppercorns. To get a better extraction of their spice, I'll crush them up a bit using a mortar and pestle. You can use black peppercorns as well, but these have a unique aroma and impart less color. Blend everything thoroughly, so you ensure a good infusion of flavors. Then let it sit for about 30 minutes. Next step will be filtration using agar agar. We've covered this before, but I think it's nice to show it again. Take about a quarter of your cordial and use that to hydrate agar. Mix in a saucepan on low heat, whisking constantly. Once it starts simmering and you see that all agar has fully dissolved, take it off the heat and slowly whisk in the rest of the cordial. This will ensure agar chills slowly and doesn't gel too fast. Once everything is nice and mixed, place the mixture in the freezer or an ice bath, so it chills and creates a nice uniform gel which will trap all the solid particles when you filter it. As you wait, you can clean up everything you've been using up to this point. Once you have a nice soft gel, you can break it apart slightly before filtering the clarified cordial 
through a muslin or cheesecloth. If the first few drops come through a bit cloudy, refilter them once the solid particles create an additional filter. Then it's a waiting game. But with the magic of editing, it's all filtered. For now, I'll pour it into a bigger bottle, where there will be enough space to give it an extra layer of flavor using smoke. Fill your smoker with your wood chips of choice. I'd suggest cherry, to go with the floral rose water, then place the tube in the bottle and fire away. Once the bottle is filled with smoke, quickly and clumsily close the lid. Shake it up a bit so the smoke infuses into the cordial. Then leave to sit for the smoke to settle before transferring to a smaller bottle. The less air you have in the bottle, the better it is for the shelf life. It's sealed it enough for 10 cocktails, give or take, and should be good in the fridge for about 10 days. Coincidence? Maybe. Since we put so much effort into the cordial, I think it's only right to go a bit further with the garnish than the typical lime will. Let's make some isomalt candy. Isomalt is a sugar alcohol, a very stable sugar substitute used for sugar art cake decorations. When cooked properly, it can easily be shaped in a number of fascinating ways. If you want to find out more about its uses, check out the talented Chef Rudakova. I'll leave a link to her Isomalt 101 video in the description. We'll keep it simple today and just do little circles. You could melt Isomalt in a pan, but I'll use a silicon mold and heat it in the oven. Start by filling the molds with Isomalt to generously coat the bottom before placing it in the oven, preheated to 170 degrees Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. At this temperature, the isomalt will melt, but it won't caramelize, like sugar would. Check to see when it's fully melted. For me, that was after about 15 minutes. Then carefully take it out of the oven. I left it to cool down just a bit before turning the mold. So the melted isomalt covers the whole bottom, as evenly as possible. Be extremely careful with hot isomalt. Use gloves to stay on the safe side. While the isomalt is still hot, I'll sprinkle it with a mixture of crushed pink rosebuds, pink peppercorn, and dried lime peels. You can use your imagination with this and make them totally unique. Presentation is more important with this one than taste. While isomalt candy is safe to eat in smaller quantities, it's only partially digested by our body. Once the candy has completely cooled off and hardened, you can take it out of the molds. Careful not to break it and store it in an airtight container. If through all of this you haven't already ordered Rose Slime Cordial online, I'd like to say thank you for your patience. We're finally ready to make the rose gimlet. Instead of shaking or stirring, I'll be throwing it to chill and dilute. Just like with shaking, start with two shaker tins. But here it's ice in the smaller and ingredients into the bigger one. First, gin, 60 ml or 2 ounces of botanist, which I expect to pair exceptionally well with the rose cordial. This time I'm adding 37.5 ml or 1 and a quarter of an ounce of our cordial. Let me know in the comments what other cocktails you think this would work great in. And, as we often do, two drops of saline solution to bring the best out of the flavors we have in our gimlet. Drain the ice, then slowly start throwing the cocktail between two shakers, increasing the distance each time. This will give it more aeration than stirring, but won't make it as cloudy as shaking would. But it's a skill that you need to practice to perfect. You'll feel the shakers getting colder and see there's more liquid each time. 8 to 10 throws should be enough. Then strain the cocktail into a stamped cocktail glass you had in the freezer. Place the beautiful isomalt candy on the side of the glass with a small clip. Beautiful. If you're worried about making a mess while making this cocktail, I suggest stirring it. But why not try to learn something new? Now, let's give it a taste. Fresh aroma with citrus, flowers and a hint of smoke. And even with so many different flavors in this cocktail, you can taste the botanicals and the rich cordial working in harmony raising this gimlet to a new height. Simple and complex at the same time, cordial brings a little spice and an intense aroma from the white peppercorns, complementing the smoky notes while a small amount of vinegar adds a small but noticeable touch to the palate and the aftertaste. This one took some work, but trust me, it's really worth the effort. Before we wrap up, I'd just like to say that if you like what you see on this channel and would like to find and learn more, check out our new website. We'll be doing giveaways there as well, every now and then as a way of giving back to you guys. So check that out, link is in the description. I'll see you soon with another cocktail and ingredient recipe. Cheers!